Today, I continue reading the book Flow, The Optimal Experience, The Anatomy of Consciousness. <clears throat> Anatomy is like freedom. How consciousness work? Uh, without consciousness, we would still know what is going on, but react in reflexive, instinctive way. In, in this part, the author mentions about a dream. When you dream about something, you kind of know anything is go what what is going on, but you cannot react it. So consciousness is the way you reflect the daily things happening in life, and you are in control of doing, uh, of, of affecting it. <clears throat> so the consciousness, uh, make him. The goal of a person is to make himself happy. Uh, I mean, the way we reflect something will make us happy, miserable, regardless of what is actually happening outside. So the attention, the way we analyze something, the consciousness is very important in life. <clears throat> Let's say for my current situation, I feel that I'm happy, I have enough. Sometimes I feel a little bit unfortunate uh, coming to, um, I mean, kids are um, career compared with my cousins, but um, in reality, I have enough conditions to be happy. So I will make myself happy regardless of what is actually happening outside. Uh, the limits of consciousness. However, the information we allow into consciousness becomes extremely important. It is, in fact, what determines the content of, and the quality of life. So um, what we watch every day is very important because it is kind of poisonous. If we keep watching entertainment clips, it is kind of poisonous food to our brain. So my goal is, is to try to limit the time using um, my cell phone um, to make myself happy, to make myself really, um, I mean, to make me happy and <clears throat> to make me happy. And what I eat every day like that is very important. So it will determine the quality of my life. Attention is psychic energy. This part is very interesting. Uh, so when we control of consciousness, we can enjoy the normal course of life. What is important is to control the consciousness. Uh, so the author gives an example of, a, of Mrs. E. She's a scholar, so much in control of her attention process. And she disciplined her attention. She's not, not just like so easy, just follow the love. Uh, Follow the flow, uh, like whatever is happening, but she control what she wants to get, and like she is in control of everything. It requires a high level of discipline, and she refused to diffuse it on on productive tasks or activities. It's very strong. That's what I really want to become. The shape and content of life depend on how attention has been used. So attention is our most important tool in the task of improving the quality of experience. Interesting. Yeah, that's it.